Yes, I got Chrome OS on my little HP stream. Check it out. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show, and uh, been bouncing back and forth between different tech things and and the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser videos. Uh, all the embargoes lifted on that for people putting out things, and of course they're all positive. I went free, but it's positive. Okay, well. Your your experience to, to cost ratio is a little off, so we'll wait for some people who, you know, actually have paid the six grand and, and gone and done it. So uh yeah, not believing you yet. So anyway, today um I've put I've gotten I did a video loading uh up Chrome OS Flex on a different laptop. I got it on my USB stick and loaded it on there and finally got it loaded on my HP stream. So this was the original device as purchased. Uh, it came with, you know, uh, two gig of RAM and like a two and a half gigahertz processor and a 32 gigabyte uh, SSD drive. Um, and for, you know, running Windows, it did, it chugged. I mean, it just like, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. So. Um, I do have a video over here on my channel. If you want to search for load, I'll leave a link to it. Loading Linux Mint on my HP 313. And uh, that we go through Windows and then finally get uh, Linux Mint loaded onto it. I uh, don't need to play an ad right now. So, and so that is also up there. And I'll put a link to that for getting Linux Mint on this thing. But Linux Mint, I mean, it did okay. I thought something even thinner, something lighter. Uh, would be good as well and here we are with uh, the chrome os flex now it's installed um, i'm actually running this amazingly it's actually running uh google meet that's how i'm remoting in into it so if i come over here and hit the start button google meet is you know remote screen sharing i did have i do have zoom on on there and loaded it up the screen sharing was a little bit slower uh, meet seems to be really snappy uh, probably because it's you know, like built into the whole thing. I mean, you can run, you know, jump into Chrome, go to a new tab. It's very, the nice thing is uh, the Chrome OS Flex is, has been made for touch in mind. And this HP 13 um, was purchased with the touch screen. So that makes it easy. I can, you know, search for, search for things and be able to go and, and you know, to use the touch screen, get to different places. It works pretty well just to be able to go here and tap on things and have it run away. Um, I do also have uh, the app for OneDrive installed. So I was able to get to OneDrive, get to all the documents and things that I that I have on there. Um, I actually can pull up in the web version of Microsoft Word and start editing things um, in Word. Um, this is a document that I've written um just about communion and stuff like that so i was just seeing if i could pull something up there um it does have you know like office suite you can get you've got sheets you've got slides you've got uh, google docs all that on there as well so you can do multiple different things whatever camp you're in you should usually be able to switch back and forth now for office i do have uh pay for office uh and stuff because i use some of that i pay for the uh, five user share or something. There's a three user share. I forget what it is, but I get space, disk space, and and everything else. So, but it does seem to be pretty snappy, um, which I was surprised. You can use this to link to your phone so that you can keep it unlocked and then load up. You know, messages. It has messages here that you can bring up and be able to, uh, you know, send your text messages from your phone to uh, use that um, on the laptop. Instead of using your phone to type, you're using messages. So it's really all in one kind of thing, a really big extension of your phone in that way, uh, Google Docs and other thing also. So of course you got Gmail and YouTube and all that all seems to go pretty well. Let's see how well it plays. Something on YouTube. And I mean, some of the th windows that come up, it does only have two gigs of RAM, so you do have to wait a little bit. But if you're, you know, thinking it's a 
you know, it's an old laptop. This is like, I don't know, four or five, six years old, something like that. Um, being able to play some kind of video, which it still does play. It just takes a little bit. So that's why I'm thinking it's more for messaging and, and all that. Let's mute that. Um, and pause it. So the video is a little jumpy trying to get it to play things and stuff. So I am remoted into it. So that's going to kind of slow it down as well. But it's some things you're taxing this, this HP stream, but doing document and doing basic web browsing, editing some documents, you know, things like that, doing some messaging and stuff would be, you know, a perfect little sit around kind of browse Facebook, Twitter kind of package. Uh, so yeah, works really well. It's all installed. I did it the same way I did the other one with the USB stick, got it in there loaded it all up. I was trying to do it and get a VirtualBox loading, but apparently it's very incompatible with VirtualBox. Uh, but um, yeah, so there we go. HP Stream uh, 13 with touchscreen and Chrome OS Flex. And it works beautifully. I mean, it's just, I mean, it just, it works really nice right out of the box here. So I haven't updated it or done anything else it hasn't needed any updates so now that it's uh the zoom the meet sharing is is done menuing and, and stuff runs and, and pops up quite a bit faster and you close it and it shuts off and the battery stays pretty good you know for a few days and stuff like that so all right fun little project all right uh, if you got any questions about it or anything else or how it worked and whether you can get it downloaded onto your system whatever there's will be links in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.